Right, so basically we've got two seat post assemblies here. One of a big twin, one of a WLA. I'm going to build the WLA one. The original WLA one was made up out of all bits that have been machined and stuff, which is not an issue, it doesn't matter. But what I want to do is because Clive, who owns the um, Panhead Big Twin, he's very tall. So we want to put a longer bar for the longer seat, yeah? Yeah. So that eliminates that one. We'll keep that. And that eliminates that one. So it's a fatter section than that one, look. The Big Twins are a fatter seat post. Yeah. All the springs are the same. So now we're going to use that bar on our WLA. So we look on our list. So we have got 313330, 313330. So that's two of those. So 313330 should be number 14. No, that's two and three quarters, so that'll be that one. Right, so we have three springs in the top set. So that's those two came with the set. One, two, three. So let's see what our middle spring length should be. Two and thirteen sixteenths of an inch. That's nowhere near it. Let's get to sixteenths of an inch, that's there. Two and thirteen sixteenths. So that is the middle spring out of that, and that set there go in the top of the seat post. Yep. Okay. <coughs> so we have one, according to this, we should have two of those. Might be too long actually. That one, and that one. And then none of those are deleted. And you've got three one five thirty. So that's your top spring, which is sixteen probably, three inches. That's just under. Too short. See, they supply all these, say it's original, but half of it isn't. Right, that's three inches. It's a bit hard to know without listing the parts. So that doesn't list, I don't think. No, it doesn't list the length of springs on there. I mean, that's only listing the length of springs for a big twin. What books are you using to cross-reference all this? We've got this one, which is a book on panheads. The original Harley Bible that we always use. And then... This is the original proper WLA manual, military one, yeah? Yeah. See, this shows completely different setup to this. No it doesn't because that's on the bottom of there. I'm lying. So three one three five thirty should be the long spring on the top of there, sixteen three inch. Right, that's three inch. So then you have 313330, which is a short plunger spring, and 17, that's an inch. Right, so I think from what I can gather, let's get our seat post. That's good. Right, so we have that one. We haven't got thin core one of them, so then that one. And I go in there. And 
So that goes in there. And we have another short one. And then our locking collar. Because that's just, what's in the top of the post is what you call rebound. I'm sorry, what's rebound? So it's not, basically you've got all the springs will be on the bottom of there holding that down that way, yeah. so that'll do that, and then once you get down to there, then it'll really beef the springs up, if that is correct. It's hard to know. And that doesn't sound right with those springs rattling around in there, does it? So I've missed a spring out. No, I haven't. <laughs> and he goes in there. And that goes on top. That's about the same length as that, so that's not going to make any difference. I think that's the centre spring out of there. Right, so that is correct the way I've done it. That goes on top of there. That goes on top of there. That goes on there. Then we have a long spring. One of those. That way up. Then we have our middle spring, which this is saying 10, 2 and 13 sixteenths of an inch, which is that one. Then we have another one of those which goes that way up. Okay, right, and on the bottom we have that one. Now we've got to try and get that threaded onto there. So let's get a pair of long nose pliers in the middle of that. Okay. Do we have to adjust that from the bottom of the spring? So that ridge there is 12 inches. We've got to wind that up three quarters of an inch. Half an inch. Quarter of an inch. Right, a little bit more, and this smidge. Right, that's 12 inches bang on, so we adjust that length to 12 inches as it says there. Okay. Right, so now we need a lock nut.
then that one because it's got the angle on it look see that the flat on it oh yeah that locks down it into the base of the frame and we have another lock nut probably need to wind that up a little bit more but we'll just get the basics of it So what that needs is a slimmer lock nut, so we'll have to machine them down, which is fine. So basically that is it. So what you'd normally do, that needs a little bit more thread coming out the bottom, so it'll be the length of the lock nuts okay. are too long. So that is your seat post. That's it, that's located on its square piece. So the tension adjuster for depending on the rider, how does all that work in there then? Different rate of springs. Okay. But that's just a standard set. So that's that. Got a new seat tee to go on. So according to the Harley manual, you then have a look at, for example, what weight you were and you adjust the springs yeah. to suit that. Okay, so your two springs there, one two those two look they're the same all across the board yeah. three one two eight thirty one center spring so that's hun under 130 pounds is a one eight six ten 130 to 150 pound three one two nine 31 same on there 150 to 220 pounds 220 pound rider plus is 312931A, so that'll be a different rate. And do those springs come in the kit or is it a separate thing? No, you have to order them separately. Okay. And then your top rebound springs, bottom one's exactly the same all the way through, middle one until you get to 200, 150 to 220 pound, they go up a rate by the looks of it, and your top spring is the same all the way through. So basically it's only two springs you change that middle one there and that middle one there so this one we've got because all the pin and everything was all out of it so we've got a new pin for there so you have your locator your bush right that'll all have to be machined out and drilled and shit because it's all just been cobbled up over the years so that'll press in there quite nicely by the looks of it. And then new seat T. And he sits in there like that. So we've got a new bush to go in there. New seat T because the other one don't even think it was off a of Harley, it was just a made up piece of rubbish realistically. And do all seats on the WLC AA, do they all assemble the same way? All assemble the same mm -hmm. way, that's what you call a long seat T. That's that's a civilian seat tee, this one. See, that's the same length as that. Yeah. That's a military seat tee. Seat right up the front. Yeah. So that's your difference between a civilian and a military, yeah? 